We continue now at the top of Daf Yudam and Aleph and Maseches Baba Vasra. This is Baba Vasra Daf 10A. This Daf is sponsored by David Grossman. Thank you for your sponsorship. If you'd like to sponsor an Amr Daf, see the description box below and see the description box below to see how you can support this channel. On the previous summer of Yeshua ben Levi said that those who give tzedakah, they're going to have children who are balei chachma, balei osher, and balei agada. And this is all learned from a pasuk in Mishlei. And the Gemara now explains, it says in the pasuk, Yim tzachayim, they will find life. Rashi explains, Yim tzachayim, uchsiv gabe chachma. It says by chachma, by wisdom, ki motzi motzachayim, that they find life. And so therefore you see from that part of the pasuk, it says Yim tzachayim. You see that again, they're going to have children who are balei chachma. And and Balei Osher, how do we know that they're going to have children who are Balei Osher? Dechsev Tzedakah, because it talks about Tzedakah, the ability to give charity. And finally, Balei Agada, it says they're going to be, be Balei Agada. They're going to be masters of Agadata, of Drush. Dechsev, as it's written, V'chavod, it says honor. Rashi here says, Balei Agada, mitochshin darshanin, because they're able to darshan, umoshchen as alev, they can draw people's hearts. Hakol mechabdin osam, so everybody gives them honor. As the Gemara now goes on to say, Again, it says, V'chavod, K'siv hacha V'chavod, it says over here, V'chavod, O'chsiv hasam, and it says over there, K'vod chachamim yinchalu, K'vod chachamim yinchalu, it says, K'vod chachamim, so you see it has to do with K'vod that comes from a kind of chachma, that's how we see that it's Balei Agad. And the Gemara continues, Tanya, we learned in a bride, so how your Rabbi Meir, Omer Rabbi Meir would say, Yechlo Labal Hadin La Shivchei, litigant is able to respond to you. Rashi here says it means Labal Hadin means Russia, a Ovid Kochavim. We're talking here about a wicked person or an Ovid Kochavim, an idolater. They're able to respond to the Lomar Loch and they can say to you as follows. Who, if you're God, if he really loved the poor, so why doesn't he support them? So what is this idea that giving Tzedak is a good thing? HaKadosh Baruch Hu should support the poor, the poor. And so the Gemara says, M or low, if somebody says that claim to you, you say back to him, onu bohen midina shal gehenim. The idea is that there are poor people so that we are saved through them from the judgment of Gehenim by doing this mitzvah of giving tzedakah. And the Gemara continues, Vizusha Ela, Shal Tornus Rupus Horoshas Rabbi Akiva. This question was asked by Tornus Rupus the wicked. He asked Rabbi Akiva. He asked this very same question. If your God loves Aniyam, he loves the poor, why doesn't he support them? Amar Le said back to him, So that we are saved through them from the judgment of Gehenim. Amar Le, he said back to him, Adarab, on the contrary, Zusha Mechayavton Legehenim. This is actually actually going to cause that you're chayiv to go to Gehenim. It actually should be considered a bad thing. And he gave him the following mashal. I'll give you a mashal what it's compared to. It's compared to a melech basar v'dom, to a king. That he becomes angry at his evidence, he becomes angry at his slave. And he puts the slave in prison. And he instructs so not to give many food, not to give many drink. And then one person calls goes, he gives him food, he gives him drink. When the king hears, isn't he going to be angry about that? And you are called Avodim, you are referred to as slaves. As it says, because to me is like slaves, they're like Avodim. And so therefore, really by taking care of the poor, that should be problematic because it seems that HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants them to be in that position. This was the marshal that Tornus Rupus gave. Amar lo Rebbe Akiva, Rebbe Akiva said back to him, he responded, I'll give you a different marshal. Em shalach marshal lemahadavar dome. The marshal is that it's compared to the following. Lemelech basar v'dom. It's compared to a melech basar v'dom. Shekos al beno, that he gets angry at his son. In other words, he switches it from an evid, from a slave, instead to a son, to a child. V'chav shu b'veso asur, and he puts him in prison. V'tziva olav, and he gives instructions about him. Shalol ha'achilo, v'shalol ha'ashko, so not to give him food, not to give him drink. V'halach odom echad ve'achilo v'ashke, and then one person goes ahead and gives him food and gives him drink. Kishashama ha'melech, when the king when the king hears about that, lo doron meshag isn't he going to give him a gift? He'll be happy about that. And we are referred to as Bonim, we're children. Like it's written in the Pasuk, You are Bonim, you are sons, you are children, to Hashem your God. Amar Lo, said to him, You're called Bonim, and you're called Avadim. In other words, he said, it's true, but you're referred to as both. If you're doing the right thing, the will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, then you're called Bonim. But in a time when you're not doing the Ratzon of HaKadosh Baruch 
Atem Kruya and Avodim, you're called Avodim, you're, you're called slaves. V'yachshav, and now, ain't Atem Osin Ritzon Hashem Malkam. You're not doing the Ratzon of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, because we see that you're in exile at this point in time. Amar Loi said back to him, Harei Omer, but the Pasuk says, Halo Fros Leroy Vlachmecha, Vaniyim Rudim Tavi Bayis. It says that you have to distribute bread to those who are hungry. Amos Ayaniyim Merudim Tavi Bayis. Now it says at the end of the Pasuk that Aniyim Merudim, that these rebellious poor, so to speak, are in the house. When when is it true that the Aniyim Merudim are Tavi Bayis? It's Haidna. It's right now. That's a reference to the Romans who are in control. The Kamar, and yet still the Pasuk says, Halo Fros. It says that those who are hungry, you have to distribute the bread to them. And so therefore you see that even when we are in our situation right now in Golis, still there's an idea of giving tzedakah. And the Gemara continues with the two dots. Darash Rabbi Yehuda Rabbi Shalom. Rabbi Yehuda Rabbi Shalom Darshins Keshem Shem Mizonos of Shaladam Ketzuv and Lomay Rosh Hashanah. Just like a person's Mizonos, a person's food is set for him from Rosh Hashanah. Kach Chesronos of Shaladam. So too a person's losses Ketzuv and Lomay Rosh Hashanah. Those are set for him from Rosh Hashanah. Now Zoch, if the person merits Halofaros Leroy Vlach Mecha. So then he's going to distribute. You'll distribute your bread to the poor, meaning that money that he's going to lose, so to speak. He'll give to the poor. But lo zacha, but if he doesn't merit, so then he's going to lose the money in a different fashion. Vaniyam merudim tavi bayis. He's going to bring into his house the aniyam merudim. Again, that's a reference to the fact that he'll have to provide for the soldiers of the government. They'll stay in his house. The government essentially will take the money from him. That's if he is not zocha. And the Gemara continues, Ki achse, the Rabbi Yochanan and Zaka. It's like the story of the sons of the sister, essentially the nephew, the nephews of Rabbi Yochanan and Zakai. So he saw in a dream about them, that they were going to lose 700 dinarim. That was going to be lost anyhow. So so he tried to encourage them that they should give tzedakah. And so they gave tzedakah. But still they had given almost everything except for 17 dinarim to tzedakah, meaning of the 700 dinarim, there were 17 remaining to be given. When the day before Yom Kippur came, Shadr the Bekeisa, the Caesar sent and Naktinu and took the remaining seventeen. Amar Luhu Rabbi Yoch- Rabbi Yochanan and Zaka. Rabbi Yochanan and Zaka said to them. He said to his nephews, Lo sitchalun, don't be afraid. Shivsar dinare gabaychu shaklinu minaychu. Those seventeen that was going to be taken anyhow. That's what was taken from you. Amri lay. They said to him, Mino yadat. How do you know that's the case? Amar Luhu. He said to them, Chel mo I saw a dream about you. I knew that was going to be taken. Amr Amru lay. So they said to him, Ve'amai lo amritlon. Why didn't you tell? Tell us that that was the case, Dinis Vinu. You should have told us, and then, then we would have given it all. Amar Lahu, he said to them, Amina, I said to myself, Ki hechi de ta'avdu mitzvah l'shma. I wanted you to do a mitzvah l'shma. And so therefore, if you would have known you were going to lose the money anyway, so it wouldn't have really been done for the sake of the mitzvah. In this fashion, it was done for the sake of the mitzvah. And the Gemara continues, Rapapa have a solik bedarga. Rapapa was going up a ladder. Ishtamit kare boy lemaple, and he slipped. His leg slipped and he almost fell. Amar, he said, Now this person who hates us is so chayiv. That was a euphemism for himself. He said, Am I chayiv such a punishment that I almost died? I'm being treated like someone who's mechal Shabbos, like someone who worships Avod Zara, that this punishment almost came upon me. Amar lei chia barav mi difti lara papa. Rav chia barav from difti said to rav papa, Shema oni boliyot. Maybe what happened was as follows. Maybe a poor person came to you. Velo parnasasu and you didn't support the poor person and that could be considered very severe. The Tanya as we learned in Abraisa. Rabbi Yoshua ben Karcha Omer, Rabbi Yoshua ben Karcha says, Kol hamalim einov min tzedakah, anybody who hides his eyes from giving tzedakah, ki ilu oved avodas kochavim, that's like serving idols. Ksiv hacha, it's written over here, he shamar lecha pen yadavrim levavcha bilial, that's the phrase that is used when it comes to tzedakah. Ksiv hasam, and it's written over there, it says, Yatsu anashem b'nei bilial, it says a similar language, and that's talking about avodah zara. And so you see there's a comparison, ma'ala halan avodas kochavim, just like over there, we're talking about avodah zara, afkan avodas kochavim, so too over here we're talking about avodas kochavim, just to see the full context of the pasuk, it says, Hishamar l'cha, this is the pasuk by tzedakah, Hishamar l'cha panyeh davrim levavcha b'liya alei mor karva shnas ha'sheva shnas ha'shmita v'ra eincha b'yachicha ha'evyon, maybe you're going to say you don't want to lend money because the shmita year is coming, you're not going 
going to lend money to your to your brother who's poor below seat and low, and you're not going to give to him. And so that's that's where you see we're talking about a concept of tzedakah. And again, it says yatsu anoshim bnei belial. That's talking about the year hanidachas. It's talking about avodah zara there as well. And Rashi explains mechal le shabbos v'yovde avodas kochavim. He compared the punishment that he was going to get to those who are mechal shabbos and those who serve avodah zara. Why make that comparison? Rashi says beskila because the punishment for both of those is skila. V'yomar mar and the master said mishen is chayev skila. If somebody's chayev skila or nofel min hagag, either he falls from a roof, or chaya dor sasa, where he's torn by a wild animal, the dummy laskila that's similar to skila. The tanan because it's learned in the mission. The base haskila haya gavosh te komos. The base haskila was high up. It was high up from the ground. They would push the person off. And so, therefore, here also, where he almost slipped on a ladder, he compared it to Mechali Shabbos and Ovde Avodas Kochavim. And the Gemara continues Tanya, we learned in a brace. So, Amr Rebelazu Brebiosi, Rebelazu Brebiosi says, Kot stuck of a chasset, she Yisrael Osen Bolam Hazet, all stuck in chasset that Klal Yisrael does in this world. Shalom Gadol, there's a great peace. Upraklit and Gadolim, and there are angels that defend Klal Yisrael, great angels of defense in that situation. Bein Yisrael, Lavi, and Shabbat Shamayim between Klal Yisrael and their father in the heavens, meaning to say, it brings us great benefit. Shanemar, as it says in the Pasuk, Ko Amar Hashem, al tavo beis marzeach, ve'al teilech lisbod, ve'al tonod lehem, so says Hashem, you shouldn't go to the house of mourning, you shouldn't eulogize, meaning it won't be bad, ki asafti es shalomi me'e som azeh, because I've gathered my peace from this nation, as a chesed v'yas arachamim, the chesed and the rachamim, the kindness and the mercy, and chesed zu gemilas chasadim, the word chesed refers to gemilas chasadim, Rachamim, and when it says Rachamim, mercy, zu tzedaka, that refers to tzedaka. And Rashi explains, Praklitin Melitze Yosha Shal Malache Ashares, that refers again to Malache Ashares who defend the Jewish people. Ki asafti es shalomi meis hamazeg, and the Pasuk says, I've gathered my peace from this people. What does that mean? Umau Ashalom, what is this peace that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is gathering? It means, as hachesed vi es harachamim, shayu regil and lasos, meaning they're doing chesed and rachamim, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu is taking that, so to speak, and protecting Klal Yisrael. And the Gemara continues, Tanya, we learned in a Bryce, Rabbi Yehuda Omer, Rabbi Yehuda says, Gedola tzedaka shemekareves es ha-geula. Tzedaka is great because it brings the redemption close. Shanemar, as it says in the Pasuk, Ko amar Hashem shimru mishpat v'yasu tzedaka. It talks about doing tzedaka in the Pasuk. Ki krova yeshuasi lavo, because my salvation is close to coming, is close to coming, v'tzidkasi lihigolos. It talks about this idea of geula. Hu ha Omer, he would say, Asara devarim kashim nivru bolem. There are ten hard things that were created in the world. Har kasha, the mountain is hard. Barzal mechatcho, but the iron, the metal is able to cut it. Barzal kasha, and the metal is hard. The iron is hard. Or mefafo, but the fire that's able to melt it. Or kasha, and the fire is difficult, but mayim mechaben also, the water can put it out. Mayim kasha, the water is difficult. Avim sovlim osan, but the clouds can carry it. Avim kasha, the clouds are difficult, are hard. Ruach mefazrosan, but the wind can scatter them. Ruach kasha, the wind is difficult, but guf sovlo, but the body is able to carry the wind. Guf kasha, the body is difficult, but pachad shovra, but fear can break the person's body. Pachad kasha, and fear is difficult, but yayin mefigo, but if a person drinks wine, that can calm the person. Yayin kasha, and wine is difficult, but shena minfach chaso, but sleep can take away the effects of the wine. Umisa kasha mikulam, and death, that is greater than all of them. The idea is that sleep is considered to be like one sixtieth of death, so death is so much greater, and nevertheless, who tzedakah matzelas min hamisa, nevertheless, tzedakah can save from death, tzedakah, as it's written in the Pasuk, who tzedakah tatzil mimavas, tzedakah saves one from death. And the Gemara continues, Darash Rabbi Dustoi, Rabbi Yanei, Rabbi Dustoi, Rabbi Yanei, Darshan's Bo Urei, Shalok Midas HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Midas Basar Vedam, that the, it's not the way of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the way of people. Midas Basar Vedam, Adam Evi Doron Gadol Lamelech, when it comes to people, a person brings a great gift to a king, Suffolk Mekablin Oso, Hey Menu, Suffolk Ain Mekablin Oso, Hey Menu, it's a Suffolk, whether the king will receive it, will accept it from him, or will not accept it. Vim Tim Solomar Mekablin Oso, Hey Menu, now even if they accept it from him, Suffolk grow up in Amalekh, it's a Suffolk if he'll see the king. Suffolk ain't no grow up in Amalekh, it's a Suffolk maybe he won't see the king. But with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, it's not that way. Adam knows in Pruta Lani, if a person gives a Pruta, a small amount of money to the poor, Zoche u Makabel Pene Shechina, he will merit and he will receive the Shechina. Shenemar, as it says in the Pasuk, this is in Tehillim, Ani Betzedek Echeze Panecha, Esba Behaketz Tmunasecha, means through Tzedek, through Tzedaka, I can see the Shechina, I can see HaKadosh Baruch Hu. 
And the Gemara continues, Rebbe Lazar, Yoiv Pruta Laani, Rebbe Lazar, he would give a Pruta to the poor, Vahadar Matzli, and then he would daven. Amari said, Dechsib, because it's written, Ani bit Sedek, Echaze Panachi, so I'm going to see your face. It's a good time to daven after giving tzedakah, after the Sedek. And the Gemara continues, Mai Esba Bahakitz Tmunasecha, what does it mean that I'm going to be satisfied while awake by seeing your form, by seeing Akadish Borchu? Amar of Nachman Bar Yitzchuk, Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchuk says, Elu Talmide Chachamim, the Pasuk here refers to Talmide Chachamim, that they deprive themselves from sleep, they deprive their eyes of sleep in this world. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he satiates them from the radiance of the Shechina in the world to come. And the Gemara continues, Amar Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan says, What does it mean when it's written in the Pasuk, The one who lends Hashem is the one who gives money to the poor. If not for the fact that it's written in the Pasuk, Yef Shal Omer would be impossible to say such a thing. Kiv Yochel, it's as if the Pasuk is saying, Eved Lova Leish Malve, the Lova, the borrower, is like a servant to the lender. It's almost like it's saying when one gives to the poor, it's like lending to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, as if HaKadosh Baruch Hu is now a servant to that person. And the Gemara continues, Amar Rabchia Barabba, Rabchia Barabba says, Rabbi Yochanan, that Rabbi Yochanan says, Ksiv, it's written in the Pasuk, Lo Yoel Hon Biyom Evro, it's Daka Tatzel Mimavis, it says that wealth is not going to help on the day of wrath, and Sadaka is that Sadaka is the thing that will save one from death. Uchsiv, and it's also written a similar Pasuk, Lo Yoilu Otsros Rasha, the storehouses of the wicked, the wealth of the wicked will not help. Utsdaka Tatzel Mimavis, and again it says the same thing, that Sadaka is the thing that saves one from death. Death. And so the Gemara now says, What do you have to have? Two psukim about tzedakah saying almost the same thing. And the Gemara explains, One pasuk is saying that tzedakah saves a person from a strange kind of death, a bad, terrible kind of death. And the other pasuk is referring to the fact that tzedakah saves a person from the din of Gehenim. Now which pasuk is referring to the fact that it saves one from Gehenim? Ever, that's the Pasuk that used the word ever. That was the first Pasuk from Mishle that we quoted. Dechsiv, as it's written, Yom Evra Hayom Hahu. It says Yom Evra. That day is like the Yom Evra. You see, it's a reference to Gehenim. And what kind of tzedakah saves a person from a strange, terrible kind of death? And we will continue with this discussion in the next video on Dafi Yud Amid Beis.